iPhone 5S right here. I'm going to be taking a closer look at it in just a second. This is the Space Gray 64 gigabyte uh, iPhone 5S. Then we also have some of the other cool things that come in the box. Now, you have an instruction manual and warranty, um, but that's pretty cool. And I also got Apple Care, by the way, which I recommend to anybody who's getting anything over a 16 gigabyte because you don't want to be paying $850 uh, unsubsidized fees uh, if you, anything happens to your phone. Now, it comes with uh, your ear pods, which are pretty cool that it comes with those. It also comes with your uh, wall mount and your lightning connector. Uh, and that's pretty cool as well. So we're just going to actually put this box back together and then we're going to take a look at the, uh, the iPhone 5S. So we're going to just put this aside and take a look at the real product. We've taken all the protective coatings off of the iPhone 5S and we can take a clear picture of what it actually looks like. Now it's very similar to the iPhone 5. It's still got that great feel. Uh, it's still got that large screen, very slim. Uh, it fits very nicely in your hand. Uh, but there's a couple of main differences. The first one is the dual LED flash, which allows for more natural tone uh, pictures when you take those pictures. And the other very obvious physical difference is the little uh, rim around the home button that will act as uh, the tool to detect your fingerprint when your fingerprint goes on it and then lying within the home button itself is fingerprint scanning technology that will allow you to scan your fingerprint. So we haven't actually set that up yet so I'll show you guys how to set it up. It's actually pretty easy uh, and within minutes you'll be able to do it. So I just set up a standard 1234 password. Uh, that'll be basically a recovery password if anything happens, you're, you get a scrape on your, uh, your finger or something like that. Uh, you can be able to use that password also if somebody else wants to get into your phone and, and you want to let them. So what you can do is you can go down to general, you can go to passcode and fingerprint, you know, type in whatever uh, other passcode you have. Now you can also turn the additional passcode off so it's only fingerprint, uh, but if anything happens to your fingerprint, like you get a scrape or something like that, uh, you might have to restore or something. So you can go into fingerprints, you can add a fingerprint, and then all you gotta do to add a fingerprint is just scan your thumb or whatever finger you wanna use. Uh, you ha just have to pick it up and put it down multiple times. You're gonna hear a little vibration. It's very easy, I'm gonna show you the entire process because it doesn't take that long to actually do. So you're just gonna adjust your grip and it's gonna continue to do it. And it's going to be getting all the data of your fingerprint and logging it right here in the iPhone itself. And there, you just got a finger. And you can add additional fingerprints, either of other people, if you wanna give them access as well, or you can do all of your fingers, both your thumbs, index finger, anything like that. Uh, you can add different fingerprints into the phone, so it's not just limited to one. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, go in with our thumbprint. Now it is gonna make us type in our password the first time, that's just as a security thing. But then after that, uh, we're gonna be able to log in just by using our fingerprint. Watch how fast that works, just like that. Boom. And it just has to take a little second to register and then it's right in. There's no typing your passcode. All you gotta do is just press and uh, bring back and then it'll load up. And I really like that feature. I just love the Touch ID. It works really well.